The cheap four-wheeler is still right there, still being cheap. Uh, I'm waiting for some parts to show up on it. I've got this little Johnson two horse, needs a head gasket. I wanna take this apart and try some machining on it. Let's get at it. All right, so it's gonna be hard to see. I think right there is where our head gasket failure was. I thought it was on the cylinder itself, but it looks like it might be the head that's the issue. So maybe what I'll do is I'll try to see if I can get this set up in the mill and maybe just take a light pass with a fly cutter and see if I can smooth this bad boy out. Uh, and if that doesn't work, I'll just probably, I think you could buy these right on eBay for cheap money. So I'll see if I can find one. Here it is. To get that thing to clean up where I thought it was good, I had to take about 30 thousandths off the head. Um, that's kind of a lot for a little tiny head like this. After I did that, I wasn't super confident in that it would work. I ended up finding a new one on eBay. New used, new old stock. Um, what I am happy about is that this is the factory finish on the uh, cast head that's been machined. Uh, here's the finish on my refinished head. And uh, I will say that I'm I'm actually pretty proud the surface finish on that. Probably a little bit ghetto the way I set it up. So we're gonna get this thing put back together with a new head and a new head gasket. I'll be good to go. And if not, it's gonna be a parts engine. This is gonna come to, as a shock to everybody that knows me. I was wrong. I thought I had the little Johnson working like a charm. I ran it through a whole tank of fuel in my test bucket and then it wouldn't start again. So I dug into it, pulled the water pump apart. It's the impeller housing, cup thingy. I've never seen a two-piece water pump before, but that's what we had. One of these things is spin them a thingin, and one of them's not. So we ordered a new one. There we go. Let's put this thing together and see if we can actually get it fixed and working this time. All right, this should be pretty quick. Uh, not a whole lot to these. We need parts you can see there. So we have, so usually what I do uh, when I lube these things up or when I put them together is to lube them up. I use dish soap because that'll wash right out and it won't hurt nobody. Even the ducks love it apparently. I'm turn this counter, I uh, know clockwise when we put it in. <coughs> this is when somebody's going to say, you know, there's an easier way to do that. I'm going to say, yeah, I know. This one like that. Look at that, it's kind of in there. This part has a couple little thingies. 
put it in there this way because that'll only go in one way and this will go in here like that this it says oil in the manual but we use dawn because oil turns to oil in the water and it's gross and dawn just turns to soap and cleans birds <laughs> pop one come on you can do it we don't need that in there at the moment nuts pop that bad boy in there look at that okay next step of the process we got to get this little doohickey right here pop that out like that <clears throat> It's really best if you don't take this shaft out because when you do, there's a little drive uh, thing in the bottom and that drive thing in the bottom has a certain way it goes in and it's a pain in the butt. And I know that because I just did that like five minutes ago and it took me like 10 minutes to get back together. So if you don't have to take that out of there, don't take that out of there. Just like that, that thing is splined and it pops in like you just saw. We want this next, right there. I'm pretty sure that the instructions say to put it in that way. With a little doohickey facing down into the big water thing. Plate. Correct way. That thing. That way. So that'll go like that. And this goes like this. That little black doohickey we just put in is a spacer, and I think you'll find if we, well, don't pull that out. Should be right in there somewhere. Oh, look at that. Popped right in. There, that's it, water pump installed. It's good, nice and tight. Now, a very important part of this is to, this little O-ring goes on the top of the shaft, you have to grease that. The reason you do that, if you don't grease that, all the water that comes up in through here will get past this O-ring and into there and rust it solid and you won't be able to get it apart. I've had a couple of them I've had to deal with and it sucks, just so you know, so don't do that. Take the grease that came with the kit. It's usually like a white lithium. Yeah. It's the best grease. Hose in there. Hose, it's copper. We want that to be up. That wants to go inside. And we're gonna find there we go. And turn er, oh, turn it the right way. Maybe, turn the motor over. There we go, perfect. Click, now that's it. Hold the recoil. Yeah. There we go, everything's good. Let's see if water comes out of there. It should, not a ton, but some water should come out of there. Let's go find out.